You know those people who aren't afraid to ask for a discount if something is damaged? It's me. I'm those people. What's up everybody? My name is Andrea, part of the Dyglamic Duo, and I am back for another video. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. But yeah, um, if you don't really care about what I'm about to say, I'm about to thank y'all and do the whole emotional thing, whatever. But if you don't really care about what I'm saying, go ahead and fast forward to um, the shopping hall. I'll give you a time like right here or somewhere in the corner somewhere where you can pass for it but i just really wanted to say thank you again it's really gratifying is that the word i'm looking for i don't know it just makes me really grateful to see that so many people tune into our channel look at our videos look at our content because there are so many other youtubers out there and i just really want to say thank you again and it's just crazy i don't know it's just crazy to me um I'm just, I just feel so grateful. I feel so blessed. I just really want to say thank you, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't want to get emotional. I'm like PMSing already. So we'll just skip that part. Just know that I thank you guys and I see you guys and I'm grateful for you guys. Well, now that we done got that out the way, how y'all doing with y'all country? But yeah, so if you're new here, I want to kind of let you know what's going on. A couple weeks ago, I saw Julia and Hunter and Arvin Lano um, I actually found these huge geo crystals and I was like, I have to have that in my life. So I've been hunting for it, could not find it. In my area, we only have one home goods, so it's gonna be hard anyway to find, you know, what you're looking for with everybody going to one. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna venture out a little bit. So I went to Charlotte, cause they have, I think they have like five in the Charlotte area. And um, I still didn't find it. I found some really good stuff, but I don't give up. Like, I just don't give up. If I put my mind to something, I'm gonna make it happen. So I was like, no, this is like a thing. It's like a hunt, right? So I went to Atlanta about a week ago. About, about a week ago, ago, a week ago. Week ago. All right, anyway, sorry y'all. So anyway, um, about a week ago, I went to Atlanta um, to, you know, look for this geo crystal and kind of see what they have. They have at least 20. I was looking at the locations on online at the home goods and they have like at least 20 home goods and then of course I'm gonna go back and keep visiting and this is like a thing this is a thing and I was like what can I call it it's a hunt it's a thing home goods hunting that's what this is called so this is the home goods hunting series um and this episode is gonna be Atlanta so yeah make sure you guys stick around to the end though because some stuff that I found that I'm going to share with you, I didn't find on the shopping trip. So you're not going to see the footage, but I still wanted to share what I found in my home goods. It was just, my home goods, just, it just be, it's too many people to even record sometimes. Like, unless I go like really, really, really early in the morning on a day that everybody's at work, it's like impossible to record and it to be quality. So yeah, we're about to hop into this. I'm going to actually... I thought it would be neat if do you okay so you know when you see streamers like gamers they're like playing the game looking at a screen but they're talking to you too so you see them and their screen I thought it'd be really dope to do that so what I'm gonna do instead of the normal like voiceover type situation I'm going to be watching the footage along with you guys and commenting or commentating um, like up in the corner somewhere where it's not gonna block your view so it's gonna be very interactive. Y'all, I'm a little excited about it. I hope it, it turns out well. So we're about to hop into the video. found a parking spot right in the front which is perfect and first thing I needed to do was go to the bathroom because that was a long trip oh, oh, come, here. come here what y'all looking at what you looking at watch out now I'm cold here watch out watch out you're in I know 
You can hold it for her. Okay. Hold it. Ain't nothing but a little piss. Lady, look out. Lady. So I usually like to start on the left. Here are some um vessels, I guess you would call them. Or planters right here. And then I actually saw this um, fire table that they call it Restoration Hardware. This was on clearance for like $249, y'all. And the fire tables at Restoration Hardware go for like $5,000 and up. But I didn't have anywhere to put it, so, you know, stayed there. This is a cute little chair, um, but they only have one. That was a cute little outdoor chair. If you need any bird houses, there you go. And I don't know about y'all, but I always seem to be going the wrong way in aisles. I don't do it on purpose, but it just happens. I saw these little items. They were, do you call these cement or concrete? Concrete. Check it out. <clears throat> concrete. Concrete. Never know who you're going to meet when you're walking down the street. Yeah, well, concrete, we'll just call them concrete. I didn't really know what they were, but I like the texture on them. And they were too heavy to lift, so I didn't know what the price was. Here's some more planters right here. Um, these were really heavy too, so I couldn't lift those and have the camera with you guys. I don't know if you guys remember on one episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta when Portia hosted her vegan dinner, but these are the dinner. This is the dinnerware. Y'all, please don't get nothing on this wood because they're going back tomorrow. <laughs> now that damn Portia is one cheap. The dinnerware looks like it cost about $19.99. And she's talking about we're going to eat on it and then take it back? Really, girl? I'm trying to wipe off for y'all. So, Portia, if you want them back, girl, after you took them back, they're on home goods. They're right there. And they also had coasters that match that table setting. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool in the right house. It would be cool. <clears throat> that lady had a wedgie. Y'all saw that? I think she had a wedgie. And then I stumbled across these baskets. You can actually use these for a lot of things. Laundry. Some people put their plants in them. Um, so it's like multi-use and they were fairly expensive like $14.99 that's like oh no $12.99 even cheaper so yeah and then I saw an UGG kind of basket thingy um of course it was more expensive it was like $59.99 but it was still really really cool looking I think a plant would look really good in that here um I always like to look at their soaps and like hand sanitizers because like look how slick that looks. It would look so good in a bathroom, especially if you have that kind of look going on, that kind of vibe in your house. Oh, so pretty. And then usually they carry this Epsom salt. My mom is like obsessed with baths and lavender. So whenever I see the sleek Epsom salt, I just pick it up for it. It's only like $4.99 and it has lavender essential oils in it. So yeah, I usually just pick that up for her. And then I needed some curtain rods. The ones I have currently are silver and you know my vibe is totally different. So I needed some black ones, but I really wanted the ones that have like brushed bronze or gold etched on the edges. Um, but this one didn't, that's the price that they're on the top. $16.99, which wasn't bad at all. And then of course we're gonna look at the lamps. Um, they have some very interesting <laughs> lamps like that duck one there um this next one was so gorgeous i really wish it went with something in my house i mean the colors go with my bedroom but i feel like it'll be it's just a different style but y'all look how stunning that lamp is it's so pretty so pretty they had a lot of blues um in this home goods, like a lot of blue. The 
going the wrong way again. <laughs> oh well, nobody was in the aisle, so it's fine. And then I don't know if you guys remember my last video, this lamp, the hotel lamp, I like to call it. I see that lamp so many times in this video or well, on this trip. Like, it's crazy. I don't know if it's a sign that I should get it or what, but. And we are in the mirror section now. Um, here are some sleek ones right here. If you just want something not basic, but kind of a staple. They had these rounded wood mirrors that um, CB2 has, and you can always stain the wood if it's not the right color for you. Um, and then of course, you know, you have these over here. That's me. Y'all, I don't dress up when I go shopping. I don't know what that's about. I've never dressed up going shopping. This piece was so pretty. It doesn't go with anything I have, but I feel like in the right house, it would be so pretty. I wanna say, that was like fabric. It wasn't a painting. So I don't know if you call that a, a tapestry or what, but, and then they had this mirror right here, which is really pretty. I think it'll be pretty in like a little girl's room or if you have a bohemian vibe going on. Um, and it was on clearance. It's like $117. So that's that one. And then these bookshelves were really cool too. You have like a black and wood type aesthetic going on i thought this was gonna spin so i tried to spin it but it didn't but i guess you could put like a glass top on top of that and make that a table then they had these really pretty end tables which is not my style but i still appreciate the detail from the woodwork this cube or whatever you want to call it is a restoration hardware dupe it was only $79.99. And the one that um, is in Restoration Hardware is like $1,300. So yeah, you can use that as end tables. You can use it as a nightstand. Um, you can find, if you can find two or even one, you can use them as a coffee table. So I thought that piece was really, really pretty. These puffs were really cool too. Kind of a tribal bohemian vibe there. Look how big, I don't even know what this is, but it looks like a teapot to me. But look how big this is. Where would you even put that? I feel like you would have to have like a mansion. But it was on clearance for $6.99.99, I think. Okay, and their pillow section was very broad. A lot of color, a lot of pattern, um, a lot of choices, to be honest. So I feel like there was a, something for everybody in this home goods, pillow-wise. Look at that ladder, how cool would that be? Like, I don't know how you would decorate it or if it would just stand alone, but that would be cool in the right house. If you have really high ceilings and trying to play on the height. Y'all, this drum was so pretty. It was so neat. I think it was made in India. It was only $49.99, but it was just so unique. I've never seen anything like it. But yeah, I don't know about this scent, but the Manly Indulgence is so good. It's, it just is. So that's all I found in that Home Goods. Um, so we are going to ride to the next one. And we are at the second home goods of the trip. This planter was so pretty. It reminded me of like a scraped icing cake. I'm gonna enter a picture so you guys know what I'm talking about. But it was it was so pretty. It was heavy. I think it was like $39.99. I actually forgot to go back and get it. But if I go back to the store and it's still there, I'm definitely gonna get it. This chair right here was really pretty as well. They only had one. 
but if this is your whole aesthetic, that would be really pretty in the right house. This bowl was like a really nice shape and even the wood, I like the shade of the wood. None of my decor goes with it, but I think this would be good in a really in the right house. You can put your keys in it, you know, it, it's just a nice bowl. And then I saw this little guy, this horse, kind of a tribal pattern on him. Um, so I thought that was neat. He was only $14.99, I believe. Yep, $14.99. So yeah, that would be cool too, in the right house. Amethyst, amethyst, amethyst. I'm looking for a geode. I can't find it. All I see it, amethyst everywhere. This thing scared the crap out of me. It reminded me of the thing on Crash Bandicoot. What have I got? When I saw it. Here's a cool basket I saw with the lid on it. I've seen a lot of people putting these in their homes. Um, this is like a marble type sculpture thingy. Good for fillers, like on the shelf. It was really heavy and I didn't want to break it, so I didn't get a price on that this was so pretty i love the play the black play on the wood so if that's your vibe y'all need to go on home goods and see if you can find this um it was only 16.99 and here's some inspo on the side such a good deal i couldn't tell if i like this or not so i kept it there here's some more of the baskets with the uh lids on them the woven ones i thought this was a concrete bowl and i got really excited and then i saw a tail and realized it was a whale <laughs> so yeah here are the miniature versions of the pillows i got in my last video these were only 16.99 and i'm so happy with this purchase y'all i was so happy i can't wait till fall to cozy up those This pillow had an interesting pattern on it if you're into like the vintage look. And then I saw these. I want to upgrade the pillows on my bed. Um, some more modern pillows. And this is a set um, that were down filled. It was a set for $24.99 and it went with my color scheme. So I got them. They were really soft on like the fabric. I think it was like a velvety. It's like <laughs> velvet so I bagged those and then this one I like the pattern on these and the color was really pretty too they were $19.99 and they were down filled here are some linen pillows I saw it was like a set And how cute is this little table setting for kids? It was by Tommy Hilfiger. Um, I kind of cut off the price. So I don't remember what the price was. But it was so cute. It was so small. So cute. And, okay. So, I've been wanting to get... I, I know you guys have seen it all over YouTube. It's the Lull um, mattress. But I don't really want to buy that right now. My mattress is perfectly fine. So, I was like, okay, maybe let me try a mattress topper. This one was four inches. Um, it was only $59.99 and usually when I don't know if it's a good deal I'll just pull out my phone like I did here and look like on Amazon or Google and see if I can just because sometimes it's not worth it to buy home goods if you can get it for the same price online right so yeah um, I looked it up and I found one that was actually like two hundred dollars um, so I don't know if that is the standard price for these mattress toppers. So I went ahead and just put that one in my buggy. And um, I'll research it later. Make sure I got a good deal on that. There was a really cool mirror right here. It was like woven on the side. Um, I'll show some inspo here on the side. And I just think in the right house it would be neat. And it was only $149.99. Such a deal. I'm going the wrong way again. <laughs> I saw this. It's like an outdoor piece, I feel. It's made in the Philippines. I don't really know what it is. I feel like I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Um, it was $2.99.99. So if you're looking for something like that, you can even put it in your house and outdoors. 
I saw mine, or I saw that one in Home Goods. And then I saw this telescope. Y'all was so shamed. I thought it like worked. So I was like <laughs> looking through the hole. I even put the camera through the hole so you guys, so you guys could see that it didn't work. Um, so I was looking to see if there was a cap on the other side because sometimes you know telescope, telescopes come with caps and it said decorative only on the tag. I was so ashamed. But it was a pretty one. It was black and gold. Still haven't found the floor lamp I'm looking for. This bench was really pretty to finish. It didn't look comfortable at all. It was $69.99. That bench looked like if you sit in it or sit on it, it'll collapse right down the middle. But it was still pretty. These lamps were very restoration hardware-esque. Um, they were only $49.99 by Ralph Lauren. And I'll show you the dupe or that it is a dupe for the restoration hardware lamp. Such a good deal. Net. these are like the gold um glass lamps i got in my last video but it looked like it's like shattered a little bit but on purpose so if you like this look they're only 39.99 if you like this look but want like more of a glam touch those are the lamps for you this little guy was cool he was very heavy actually only 19.99 um and just the colors in it were really good to draw out your woods if you're decorating with this color, this color scheme. I usually like to look at the room mist that they have in um, in Home Goods and TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They have some really good ones. You guys should check those out. My camera was kind of playing me here, but I found this cashmere scent. And y'all, like I said, fall is my favorite season. I don't, I mean, summer is pretty outside, but it's way too hot. I can do early spring, winter, eh, it's a little cold, but fall is like perfect for me. So I'm just so ready to spray this in the house and create the vibes. So that was it for um, this part of the shopping trip. And now we're gonna hop into what I got or what I found at my home goods. Okay, so like I told y'all, my home goods is usually really, really crowded, especially at the times that I go. So I didn't, I don't, it's very weird, like with recording. I'm, I think I'm more comfortable with recording now, but I don't want other people to think I'm recording them. Like, because I have a camera up and they'll be like, what is she recording me? And I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. So if there are a lot of people, I usually don't record anything. But I did go to my home goods store um this week and i found some things first i'm going to show you the stuff that excuse me the stuff that you saw on the video um here is the mattress topper oh i still haven't opened it um this is very heavy i didn't want to open it until i share it with you guys so we can kind of get a first impression or reaction i don't want to open it all the way i just want to see the thickness and kind of feel it Okay, so it's very compact. It feels, oh, uh, this feels very heavy duty. Um, let me see if I can lift it up. Ooh. Be delicate now. <laughs> Put your back into it. Oh, I'm gonna be a man. You ain't no man. Okay, so it's wrapped in there pretty tight. Y'all can't see me, but <laughs> okay, this is. Y'all can't see me, but I hope you can hear me. It's very, very thick. Let me get up here. It's very thick and it's very uh, heavy duty. Seems like it's really good quality. Like I said, it's four inch. Oh, it's four inch memory foam and i think i'm gonna keep it i'm like pressing down now put some pressure on it but yeah i think that was a good that was a good buy andrea so yeah and it says two-in-one comfort 
um, reversible for custom sleep. So, oh, cool. So one side is a memory foam layer and the other side is a support foam layer. So I guess depending on if you like a harder or softer um, mattress, you can flip it. That's neat. Um, it has a, it comes with a cover. That's really important. If you don't have a cover on your mattress, y'all need to get one. Even if you don't have a mattress topper, just on your regular mattress, cause it saves it from like staining. Um, like if you eat in bed, like me. <laughs> um, and even like, cause you know, you can't put a mattress in the washing machine. I usually Lysol mine, but I have a, a mattress cover on top so I can wash that and then put my sheets on. So you just have that extra protection. Um, it also has high airflow technology for people who sweat in their sleep, like me, um, pressure point relief, and a five-year warranty. So, yeah, I think that was a good buy right there. Okay, so next, um, the pillows that I bought, I kind of wanted to give you, like, um, a more... I kind of wanted to give you a better look at the pillows. So, this is it. Um, it's really, really soft, like I said, down filled so we can get that luxurious look that we love. Like it's really expensive and I got this in a set. Um, so I was really excited about that. It's really gonna upgrade my bedding, um, but I can still stay with my color scheme. And then also on that trip, I got these um, room mist and I'll explain what it smells like. It smells like there's a musk there, not musty, like you need some deodorant, but like a musk, like a, it's really clean. Um, and it smelled like if a blanket had a scent, I feel like this would be it. It's called cashmere, so of course. But yeah, I'm really excited to spray this during the fall. And then um, just kind of this, I didn't find this candle on this trip, but it's um, that same line that I got, that I told you guys about, the Manly Indulgence. This is called suit and tie. And I just think that the packaging is so good. Um, you guys see? The packaging is so good, it's so sleek. Um, it's black, so even if you don't like the label, just turn it around, people. That's all you gotta do. And this just smells like man's cologne. Like, I really feel like I was a man in a past life. Like, some days I even wear man's cologne. Like confession not the ones that are like really really strong but the like clean cologne smells and honestly the one I the one I wear I feel like it should be unisex anyway okay and then um so that's all I found on that part of the Atlanta trip make sure again like I said make sure you stick around for part two because I have some other stuff that I'm going to share that I found on that haul um next I want to show you um this is something that I found in my home as well. It's this tray. Um, it has these little, I wanna call them spools. <laughs> kinda like, you know in the old days where they had the letters that you just like open? That's what these kinda look like to me. Is that what they're called? <laughs> That's what we're gonna call them. We're gonna call them spools. It's wooden, which you guys know I don't have like a lot of wood that is in my decor, but I can always change this. Like I'm, I'm thinking about maybe um, refinishing this to a gray to match my console table or maybe like a matte black or even like do cement that would be a cool DIY I have not been ignoring y'all the people who have asked who have asked me to show my DIYs I just want to save that for a separate video and make sure it's enough content in it so maybe I'll make this a concrete tray and do it in that video but yeah this one was only $16.99 and I'm sorry, I haven't been telling y'all the prices. This candle was $7.99 and the room is we're only $3.99. And then I found a set of these pillows. Um, I'm not really sure who they're by because the tag was ripped off. But it kind of looks like um, if you watch Arvin Alano, which if you don't, you should check his channel out because he has some really good decor tips on there um but this looks like the venetia pillows that he found i found mine in light gray so it has like a slight pattern on it 
and um, I didn't think it was gonna go with my decor because my decor is very modern very very modern but like I told you guys I want to kind of draw in some homey feels too because I still live there so I don't want to feel like I live in a museum and can't touch anything so um, I got this pillow I got two of these and I put them on my couch and they actually look really good like and okay let me go to another point I don't want anybody to feel like if I if my house doesn't look like this then you know I'm lame <laughs> That sounds so high school, but like I don't want anybody to feel like if they don't have the same style as somebody or if their house doesn't look like somebody's or if they don't shop at the same places as somebody else, that it's a bad thing. At the end of the day, you pay your own bills. Nobody is paying for your life. Well, I'm not paying for your life, so I'm, I don't judge people. Like I see decor all the time that's not necessarily my style, but I think it's beautiful. Like I've seen on Pinterest, people who have like these green couches, right? I will probably never ever buy a green couch. I won't say never because my style changes up all the time. But at this point, I would never buy a green couch. But the way they have styled it, I put some inspo over here or over here. Um, it's just bomb. So do you. Do you. I don't got time for this. Do you, boo boo. Do you, boo boo. You know why? Because I'm a do me. Do you, boo boo. Like, it's, if you're looking for, like, a whole different, if you're looking to change up your space and eat tips, that's totally fine. You should be looking at people who, you know, are decorating like you to, you know, kind of tie it in. But you can also put your spin on it. So don't feel like there's a one-size-fits-all decor. And if you don't have that, then your house is trash <laughs> or your taste is trash because that's just not the case. Same thing with fashion. I wear some things that some people may think is like, ugh, girl, what you got on? But I like it, I paid for it, so I'm gonna wear it. So yeah, that should, I feel like that's what make, makes the world go round. That's why there are so many different businesses because you just gotta cater to everybody's needs and everybody's style is not gonna be the same. It's the beauty of, that's the magic of being you. You have your own touches, okay? Okay, so off my soapbox, I wanted to share with y'all David. Now, you know those people who aren't afraid to ask for a discount if something is damaged? It's me. I'm those people. And I didn't used to be like that. That was so bad English. That it was so bad. I was never like that before. Um, but you know, if something is damaged, just ask for it. <laughs> you just ask. The worst thing I can say is no, right? So let me tell you about David, okay? So I actually found this on Monday at my home goods. There were, there was the first one I found, this part of his head was off, like it was broken, right? So I was like, it's okay, um, because the piece was like inside the head. This is actually from the garden section, so it has a hole. Um, hopefully I can find one that doesn't have a hole, but I wanted to get him in case I didn't. Um, but anyways, back to my story. Um, the broken piece was inside and literally you can just glue it on there. So I was like, okay, I can get the discount. So I went up to the counter, was like, hey, um, this is damaged. Can you take something off of it? So she's like feeling it like this, like going like this, right? I didn't know what she was doing. So apparently there is some kind of policy that Home Goods has that if something is too sharp or too damaged, they won't sell it to you. Like they'd rather throw it away then sell it to you insane so she she took it um she took the other one to her manager she came back and she was like i can't sell this to you i'm sorry and i felt so defeated and i was like okay wait let me go back because i think i um because i thought i had seen another one and i was like okay wait let me go back and see if i can find another one um because I, I really wanted this piece so i did find another one this one is damaged too um you can see it right there he's kind of cracked down here but I feel like I can fix that um and so I was like okay please God please 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 let me get, to get this um and so I took it to the counter I was like okay I found this one it's not as damaged as the other one she saw the crack she's like oh I don't think I can sell this one either and at this point I'm getting pissed off because I'm like are you telling me my money is not good here like my money spends like everybody else's again I'm p-messing y'all so whatever 
So she took it to her manager and then she came back and I was so ready for her to say no, but she was like, okay, we'll go ahead and sell it to you and we'll mark it down to $15. So Andrea got a David Bust-esque, <laughs> I say esque because it has a hole in the top, but I got this for fifteen dollars, y'all. Closed mouths don't get fed. Don't get fed on this okay, so um, I don't really like the gray color. I feel like it looks a little bit too. What's the word I'm looking for? The red, gray color makes it look too. It's not gimmicky. It's too. I don't know what the word is, but. It doesn't seem authentic, right? So I think I'm gonna refinish him. Um, I'm gonna wait a while to see if I can find like one that actually has a head on top. Like this one, you can't really tell, especially where I'm gonna have it. You can't really tell that it doesn't have a top on the head or it doesn't have a head top. It doesn't have a, the head isn't enclosed, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So I think I'm gonna refinish it so it can be like a white, creamish, you know, like the authentic David. And I usually don't go for pieces like this, but like I told you guys, I went to Italy, which was my first trip out of the country last year. And it's just really nostalgic for me. So I think I want to do like a little, um, some homage or pay some homage and have like a little shrine for Italy. So I'll have David head. I'm gonna to try to find some books, like some Italy books and just kind of play it up. So yeah, stick around for my DIY cause that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be really interesting because I don't wanna ruin him, but I don't really wanna keep the color gray either. Okay, so that is it. Um, that is it for part one. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. And again, thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you so much for watching us, y'all. I'm about to get emotional. I'm about to get emotional um, talking about it. So I'm about to stop talking about it. Um, anyways, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really love y'all. I don't know y'all, but I love y'all. And I just love our little family. Until next time. Peace out.